are you? Hi, how are you? Doing good. I'm Frank. I'm Drew. Nice to meet you. Here you go. Thank you. So, you're interviewing for the head audio film editor of The Tonight Show. Yes. Excellent. Okay. And I see you were the head audio film editor at Pirate TV. Yes, correct. And you interned for NBC and Yes Network. Yep. Excellent. So, first question we're going to start off with is tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, as you know, I was a graduate of Seton Hall University, class of 2019. Uh, during my time at Seton Hall, I was able to have a lot of internships, one being for M NBC and the second one being for Yes Network. Also throughout my time, I was able to take a lot of classes at Seton Hall pertaining to film and TV. I took TV 1 through 4, and I took film 1 through 4. And what that taught me was both it gave me experience, but also taught me the logistics of how producing a TV show, produce, producing a, a movie works in that aspect. Okay. So there's a lot of great shows out on the air right now, especially late night shows, Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon. So yeah. Yeah. why here over anywhere else? I would say from the time I was a sophomore, I started really having a love for not only Jimmy Fallon as a host, but for The Tonight Show and every everyone who works for the show. And... I feel that this show is a lot of fun. It's not one of those jobs that you just punch in your clock, work nine hours, and then leave. It's something that you always have to work towards for the success of the show. Because you're going to have 20 million people watching the show on a daily basis. So there's always that drive to make the show as successful as it was back in the 60s, back in the 80s, and now now. Okay. I like that answer. Thank you. So, the next one is a very interesting question, but a very personal question as well. What do you feel is your biggest strength? I would say my positivity would be my biggest strength. Back in my junior year, me and my buddy Brian, who was also my roommate, we were both majoring uh, communications at the time. And what had happened was I had an internship at NBC. Well, he had an internship at the Yes Network. And we had a big assignment that was due on Friday. And it was Friday. And I had a job. I had worked from 9 to 3. And he had worked from 9 to 5. And we had to stay up till around 5 o'clock in the morning to submit this assignment by 8 a.m. the next day. Wow. And we could have just looked at the situation. We could have said, you know what? I'll just take zero. I'll just take the cut for the assignment. But we worked hard because we made a positive situation out of a negative one. Okay. On the flip side of that, what do you feel is your biggest weakness? I am very, very hard on myself um, with everything I do, not only in my work life, but in my personal life too sometimes. Uh, I also, I consider that more of a strength and a weakness because it allows me to kind of look at myself in the mirror and better myself in situations both during work and in my personal life. Okay. So this is a little bit of an outside the box question, okay. but it really gets like your brain going. Okay. I like to see your creativity with it. Um, if you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? Great question. I would say the first million that I would ever make, the first half of it, would be put towards the bank. Because I feel that you have to be safe and conservative in situations such as if a disaster happens, you have to give away $20,000 to a family member, or just if you need it for the latest software editing system or whatever. My A quarter of it would be put towards charity, either for some cause or a disease or uh, for students trying to better themselves in education because I feel that we were very lucky and everyone in college is lucky to have that experience and gain education and gain knowledge in the, in the field that they want to better themselves in. And I feel that kids who don't have that opportunity can get that opportunity with the money that I supply them. Okay. So... Where do you see yourself in five years? Another great question. I see myself as manager of a major corporation or company in either New York City or Hollywood, creating either TV shows or movies. I want to think of myself as becoming a boss that would be both fun-loving and hardworking at the same time. I feel that in a, in a company, you need to have 
le leisure time, and you also need to have hard working time, which is probably 75% of the time that you should be at your job. But I don't want to be that boss that's going to be, you have to work all the time, 24 hour a day, because that will not produce a, a successful outcome in the long run. Okay. So wrapping up here, do you have any questions for me? Or? Yes, I just have two very uh, simple ones. Uh, first one would be, how many hours a week would I be working? Well, it really depends on the scheduling of the show. Okay. Some nights we have more important guests than others, yes. so some other nights would retire, require a little bit more attention. Okay. So the hours are very flexible. Yes. But you'll definitely be working that when the show is on and then a couple hours after. Okay. And then submitting back your edits later okay. that night. All right. And uh, where would I start off in the company? Well, we have a very long tenured member okay. at the, the head editor position right now, so he has a lot of experience in the field. He's been here for a long time. He knows the ins and outs of the whole place. So I would probably put you as his assistant just so he can mentor you and teach you about the position a little bit more. And then once he is on his way out or if he needs less less hours, you guys would split or it would be your position. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Excellent job. All right. See you soon.